Hello friends, this video on factorization part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at type 2 that is method of regrouping terms. So what do we mean by regrouping terms? So basically we have multiple terms in the expression and we group the terms based on common factors like based on which, whichever two terms have more in common we group them together. So let us take one example. So here we have 15xy minus 6x plus 5y minus 2. So there are total four terms in this expression. So our first step would be to regroup terms such that terms with common factors are together. So in this case, looking at the four terms, can you tell me which terms have more common factors? So if you compare 15xy with 5y, you see 5 into 3 is 15. So that means 15xy has more in common. So these two have more in common. Similarly, 6x and 2. 2 into 3 is 6. So 2 is a common factor. So 6x and 2 have more in common. So let's put these two terms together and let's put these two terms together. So this is the most important step in this method. So this can be written as 15xy plus 5y minus 6x minus 2. So this is how we can write these. So now this is the first part of the expression. So we will solve the first part of the expression exactly in the similar way as we did in the type 1 that is method of common factors. So write both of these terms in their factor form like write factors for each term. So 15xy can be written as 5 into 3 into x into y plus 5y. Right. Similarly, 6x can be written as 2 into 3 into x and 2 can be written as 2. So now first compare these two terms. So in these two, what, what is in common between these two terms? So 5y is common. So 5y, what is left inside? 3x because 5y we have already taken outside. So 3x is left and for the second term only 1 is left. So this would be 5y into 3x plus 1. Similarly, in these two terms, if you compare, what is common? So 2 is the common thing. So if you take 2 outside, what would be there inside the bracket? Now here you have to take some special care. Since you have minus sign here and minus you have taken in common. So minus 2 into how much would give you minus 2 into 3 into x? Obviously plus 3x. So minus 2 into 3x gives you minus 2 into 3 into x. Similarly, minus 2 into how much gives you minus 2? Plus 1 because minus 2 into plus 1 is minus 2. If you put minus here, then minus 2 into minus 1 would be plus 2. Right? So therefore, since you have taken minus common outside and now when you put brackets, then the signs get reversed. Like here it was minus 2, but now it is plus. Here it was minus, but here it is plus. So that's only because we have taken minus common. Now if you compare this term with this term, do you have anything in common? Yes, of course, 3x plus 1 is common. So what are we left with? So we will be left with 5y minus 2, right? That's because in the first term we have taken 3x plus 1. So what is left? 5y. In the second term we have again taken 3x plus 1. So we are left with 2. So 5y minus 2. So 3x plus 1, 5y minus 2. This is the factor form of the given algebraic expression. So let's try this out by the same method of regrouping. So here you have ax plus bx minus ay minus by. So can you uh, group the terms in such a way that they have more common factors? So if you look at these four terms carefully, you would see that ax and ay, they tend to have common factor which is a. Right. Similarly, when you look at bx and by, they again have common coefficients that is b. So how would it be if we, you know, kind of try to group them together? Now, there could be another thought coming to your mind that why can't we group ax and bx together because they also have x in common. That's because, so you have to think a little bit here. So if you take x as common, you will be left with a plus b. 
In this case, if you take minus y in common, you will be left with a plus b. So that is also fine. So it is up to your choice how you want to group. If you want, you can group ax and bx together, ay, by together. If you want, you can group ax, ay together and again bx, by together. So we will uh, follow both the approaches and we will see that we arrive at the same result. So let's try it out. So in the first option, we group ax and ay together and bx and by together. So now if you write each term in the form of its factors, so then this can be written as a into x minus a into y plus b into x minus b into y. So what are the common factors that you have here? a is a common factor, so you are left with x minus y. Here b is a common factor, so you are again left with x minus y. Now you compare this term with this term. What do you have in common? You have x minus y in common. So what are you left with? You are left with a plus b. So x minus y into a plus b, this is the factor form of the given expression. Now, the another way of doing the same thing. Now, instead of grouping ax, ay, let's group ax and bx together. And let's see what is the result that we get. So, in this case, x is common. So, you are left with a plus b. In this case, what is common? Minus y is common. So, again, you are left with a plus b. So, minus also is taken in common. So, minus y into plus a will be minus ay. Similarly, minus y plus b would be minus by. So here again, if you compare this term with this term, what is common? A plus B. So what are you left with? You are left with X minus Y. So is the result same? Yes, of course. In both the cases, you get the same result. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.